Alright, so I kid you not when I say this, but I've used ChatGPT for approximately two weeks now, and every single time it continues to indicate one thing AIs are the best tools out there. You've probably heard of ChatGPT, but if you haven't, let's play a quick review. ChatGPT is an AI language developed by OpenAI. It's a chatbot. Its primary function is to assist with generating text, answering questions, and providing information on a wide range of topics. However, it does not have the ability to browse the internet or access external information in real time. It can only provide information based on the data set it was trained on. I've been using it for a while and I've been dazzled ever since. And on a scale of 1 to 10, I'll give it a 10.5. This AI wrote scripts like no one else could. Gave advice on relationships that no one else knew, laid out concepts in content creation that no one else thought of, and pointed out mistakes that no one else ever admitted. It was just the perfect tool for everyone. That was until I realized that ChatGPT isn't all that perfect. It has certain problems. In cases involving data checks, ChatGPT might not be able to give you the answer, or might give you a wrong answer. For example, I asked ChatGPT which country won the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It clearly stated that it could not provide the answer because its data set was only up to 2021. This is because it was built on a data set that goes up only up to 2021. But that was not the only issue. Due to the fact that many people want to access this new technology, ChatGPT sometimes is at capacity. And when this happens, you might not be able to access it due to the fact that their servers cannot accommodate everybody at once. <laughs> I mean, the entire world is practically using this AI. But who wouldn't, right? Show me a teacher that wouldn't like help in planning out notes for the next class. Show me a designer that wouldn't like tips and ideas for their next design. Show me a content creator that wouldn't like a well-written script under five minutes. I know I will. And it all came down to me wondering, will this still take over the world someday? Will there be no need for humans in the front line anymore? Will our jobs be taken over? And the answer was no. You see, the main reason for AI existence is to assist humans in a given field, and we see that happening today. In the case of content creation, we see Adobe's podcast helping audios for content creators to be just right. We have ChatGPT with its counterparts giving us ideas and tips for that next project and so many others. The way I see it, AIs aren't actually a plot to human destruction, but a development to human activities. Whether this is true or not, I can only say one thing. I want to keep exploring the wonders of AI and trust me, I'll keep you updated. Alright, thank you guys for watching and if you got value out of this, smash that like button and leave a comment below what you think about ChatGPT. Subscribe to the channel and also click on the bell notification icon so you'll be the first person to know when I release a new video. And check out our previous video on how ChatGPT answered final questions. I'll see you guys in the next one.